My name's Bagsy. I'm a pro drifter and the guy behind SB Motorsport. Over the years, we've built some amazing creations like the V8 GTR and our PS13 comp car. We bring the smoke and smiles to events all around the world with a few viral sensations along the way. But now it's time for a world's first. We're putting GTR life and soul into a Navara truck. But I'm not doing this alone. I've got a great team to help me. And some of the best partners in the industry. So buckle up, it's gonna be a hell of a ride. And even I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I just drive the car. Welcome to Project Navara R. Hello and welcome to Mission Control, Nissan Navara R live from SB Motorsport. Merry Christmas everyone, it's our Christmas special. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> and what that gives you is more clapping, more drinking, there's drinks down here, but we don't show them on the thing, do we? <laughs> Merry Christmas, by the way, Bagsy. Merry Christmas, Matt. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Uh, uh, Merry Grinchmas. Grinchmas, yes. Uh, Noel, good Bon Noel to you. Yeah. Glad tidings. Glad tidings, yeah. Yeah, that's Ian. Um, also, uh, we have the green room, as always, and it's in super festive spirit. Hey, green room! What's that, Ian? <laughs> now, eagle-eyed viewers amongst you may spot an A-lister nestling in between Adam and Simon. <laughs> we have Shane Lynch in the building, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but where's Nathan? Who? Where's Nathan? He left Nathan two months ago. something. Nathan left two months ago. Oh, no, the other Nathan. Oh, the other, oh, who knows. <laughs> Shane is here and we are hoping that he is going to turn on our Christmas lights here at SB Motorsport. We've got a tree. We've got a tree. It is not illuminated as yet. Not we yet. are carrying out the health and safety, waiting for the certificate to come through at the last <laughs> minute, fill out all the paperwork so that we can get the celeb to turn People have turn paid on. thousands of pounds yes. to have Shane turn lights on. <laughs> and, and we have got him here tonight for a much smaller fee. For a bottle of Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Till you get the invoice. <laughs> and 10 years of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be more on that later. We'll actually be playing some party games with Shane and Ian to get you in the festive spirit, Ian. Because yeah. I feel like you need warming up a little bit. Bit of a Scrooge this year. You are a little bit, bit of, of a Scrooge. Scrooge. You are. So hello to the green room. Hello to you watching at home. Coming up, there's going to be gifts from me to you. Everyone here, and actually 25 of you are going to get a gift from me. 20, 25? 25. 25. 25, yeah. You're that's, feeling generous that's, this that's year. That's the limit. 25 of you and everyone else can pay me. Anyway, um, it's been busy. We've been off for a month for obvious reasons. The regulations prevented us from uh, doing this, mm -hmm. but we've been off for a month. But work has been continuing in a responsible and safe way whilst we've been apart yeah, it's been since busy. Goodwood. Yeah, it has been very busy. Obviously, Goodwood Speed Week was a, an amazing event for it us. It was, and at, we can see yeah, what we're talking. absolutely awesome. Uh, we, I had the best time there. It was, uh, it was made even more special by the fact that we've really, you know, not been able to do hardly any events this year. But yeah, Goodwood always turn out the stops on an event. It was absolutely, you know, fantastic. Ian was there commentating the he event. Was, was did a fantastic job. And uh, yeah, what Goodwood were able to do in a, a very difficult time, trying to put events on. You know, it was on national telly. It was on ITV2, ITV1, ITV4 across YouTube, uh, across Facebook. And yeah, and the voice of uh, the voice of the drifting was Ian. It was. Yeah. You yeah. didn't fix it for Bagsy to win, though. No, because we had a conversation and he said, uh, I don't want to win. That was good, though, wasn't it? What we just saw there yeah, was the wall ride good. was incredible. Yeah, it was a really good run. This was the best to run be there. I surprised myself. Yeah, <laughs> and everyone else. <laughs> Do you yeah, mean it was, it was really the good one good event. run or it was the, just the best run? Well, only, it was the best run. There was only three right. runs, so, okay. I mean... The first run was obviously just getting used to the track. Second yep. run was probably the best one. Third one, I probably Third went a little bit. So hard. Yeah, I probably went a bit too hard. Was this a 15 points for showmanship from yourself? I think so. Yeah, I think it's it was 15, the full 15. points. Yeah, 15 points. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. very good. Very good event. Um, like Bagsy said, well hosted by Goodwood and all the people involved. So yeah. yeah. 
They always do an amazing job of looking after absolutely everyone that's there at the event. And you're made to feel very special. And it is an honour to be invited to go and participate and represent drifting at an event like Goodwood, which is such a huge uh, stage to be on, um, especially um, you know, being invited to be there as well and you know, getting to do what we love doing, which is, you know, of course, drifting. And you've got you on national television. Yeah. Didn't mess it up. Didn't as mess far it as up. We know. No, didn't mess it up. Um, was praised by the production company and praised. ITV. Yeah, praised. Heaped upon you. Um, yeah. So thanks to the people involved for getting me in there. Yeah, it was a huge uh, deal. Uh, very nervous. The production was ten times bigger than anything I've ever been on before. Oh, cheers. Working along. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. David Addison as well and the guys. Yeah, it was just an incredible experience from start to finish. So yeah, it was it was unbelievable. I think it was more. It was I think for me, Bagsy and the guys that were involved, it was a little bit gutting that there was no public because mm. it was such a, a special occasion, something that probably may never happen again. But then it was so intimate and so nice that it was behind closed doors and it was that special. Yeah, yeah it really did. It it did suck that there was no crowd and there was no general public there. You know, because you know, to perform, it's all about you know making sure they're having a great time and they're really enjoying what we're doing. Yeah, um, but as you're going around in circles, you're looking, yeah. he's smiling, he's smiling. <laughs> but at the same yeah. time, it's also really nice um, that we had the extra time to go and see the other drivers, go and see the other teams, look at the other cars. You know, we're normally so busy interacting with everybody that's there that we never really get to kind of hang out with our friends that are in other teams or, in other, you know, that have come from far away. And it's really nice to see all that. Mm. Mm, yeah, um, that was fun. And then, I don't know if there was a moment of sadness in what happened next, but you kind of bid farewell, not forever, but you put a car on a boat. I did. Put a car on a boat and bid it farewell, yep. off into the distance. Well, it's not... The, it, did you wave it off <laughs> on the shore? Were you like this? No, the, she's, uh, she's on her way. She will arrive at the end of December. Uh, it's really exciting that we've been able to actually make this event happen. Okay. We've been invited to go and participate at this event now for probably two or three years, and we've never actually had the op you know, we've never really had the opportunity to go and do it because we've always been so busy around December and January. You know, normally in December um, we're doing Jim Carner Grid, we're doing Monza Rally Show, S and Motorsport, uh, S and Motor Show, sorry, um, and then straight into Autosport. Mm -hmm. um, so we've never really been able to let one of the cars go to the other, essentially the other side of the world yeah. at, this, at this period of time. haven't actually said where it is yeah. or what it is. Well, you know, is that we, are you building to we, that? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting building up, yeah. It's getting so up. no, we've been invited to participate in the Oman International uh, Drifting Championship. Wow, can we get a woo, woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's pretty cool. Yeah, me and another UK driver, Max Cotton, are going to be representing the UK. Wow. So yeah, wow. we're excited about that. Big things. Yeah, it's big be things. Cool. Uh, it's not just that. Work has been continuing. You haven't been putting your feet up. Certainly haven't. No, no. work has continued in the workshop. As you can see, the truck is, uh, steps forward. is almost ready to depart. It, well, not on a boat. Not on a boat. We'll come, we'll come to that later. But my first question is, why are you refitting the shocks, sorry, the coilovers, that we last had you fitting on the last live stream back in October? That's my question. People are probably wondering why the fuck I'm refitting a coilover that I fitted on a live stream. What? Why? Why? We haven't been here, have we, Ben? We had some time away. And Corbin's back. If that ain't a recipe for disaster. Take two. The only reason why we're doing that is because these had to go back to ST slash KW to have the HLS system fitted. Um, it's not that they didn't trust us. They trusted me. And I failed you. They trusted us. But you have to disassemble the coilover to install it. What is it? Basically in here is like a little miniature hydraulic ram. Um, once it fills with oil, it completely locks itself to solid. So it's a lot better than an air cup or air ride in my opinion, because you've still got sag in an air ride. You've still got the flex of the rubber bag where with this setup, you don't have that at all. And it was developed by KW on ST. I think it came on Porsches originally. I think it was part of their kit. I think Porsches had it. Don't quote me on that. And then as you can see, look. <coughs> look, it's got some slack in it. 
So there we go, the HLS system now on the brand new ST coilovers, all finalised, all fitting absolutely perfect. So it's time to get the wheels on. <laughs> You're frustrating me, that's the problem. This is a two man job. What are you going on your phone for? Matt. Hello. <laughs> Corbin, I'm, I can't talk now, Corbin. We're doing the live stream now. Okay, okay, bye, bye. Oh, Merry Christmas. Thanks for the card. Bye. We're back to square one. We literally, we've just done all of that to get back to where we left the last live stream two months ago. Yeah, well, sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards, though, Matt. Yeah. And like I said in the video, we had to have that HLS system fitted because we need to run all the lines in the truck and we have to mount the pump and all the auxiliary stuff that comes with that. So yeah. that was one bit we had to do before we could move forward. And that's essentially so you can be like Stancy boys. Yeah. But not sacrifice on the performance. You yeah. get the best of both worlds. Exactly. I think, they, I think the system is more for performance than appearance the look the but look. yes okay. it does help cool. okay cool how's your is your back all right my back is is all right that, that looks it looks sore didn't it like, oh, it hurt oh, let's see I'm that not again let's see that it, that it, was, it hurt a lot oh that is a moment <laughs> it's real testament to snap on. I mean, listen. I mean, that's a backbreaker, that snap on. It's 15 odd stone trying to rip that drawer clean out of that toolbox. <laughs> and the rest. And you came off worse. It and was I came impressive off worse. with those snaky hips as well. Yeah, I know, right? I was that's thinking. not the first time you've seen them hips. Who knew he could move like that? I know. Yeah. And I was thinking, what happens if we just added a little bit of romance into that? <laughs> Why does this never come up in rehearsal? Because <laughs> <laughs> it would be removed and we wouldn't get these funny moments. <laughs> I swear this is a show about building the Navara, but anyway. It was. <laughs> so, all of that, all of that, all of all that, all of that. Back to grinding again. Yeah. Yeah. More grinding. More grinding. Yeah. Let's, let's, we can see, but I think we could, we, whilst we're watching it, we can kind of summarise what these steps are. Because for me, it's just more grinding. Yeah, so it is more grinding. Um, what we actually did there was made two boxes mount to the chassis to allow us to uh, fit the factory front gearbox cross member from the GTR. But it was too wide, so we had to shorten it and, weld, and TIG weld on some aluminium end plates. And you can see there, me and Corbin fitting it in. That is the final bit that holds the gearbox on. In its final position? And that is it, yeah, the gearbox is in its final position now. There's a few bits you fit and then refit. We do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> go backwards we, to go we, forwards. We, yeah, yeah, we go backwards to go I forwards. Think, I think for us, what's, well, for me, what's exciting is to see so much of the Nissan GTR uh -huh. being reused in the Navara. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we're reusing brackets, we're reusing mounts, using the, you know, the standard gearbox, for I, instance. I've always thought this is one for Greenpeace or something. The, the amount of recycling you're doing with yeah. this project <laughs> is, is definitely good for the environment. Not maybe uh, when it's not <laughs> uh, I don't necessarily think I'll be on their Christmas list. Okay. <laughs> When, it, when you talk about being good for the environment with what we do with cars, but yeah, no. anyway, moving on. No, yeah, but it's all entertainment. And speaking of entertainment, it's Christmas time. Yeah. How are we getting on in the green room? Woo! Only me, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Shane's doing all right. Shane's doing all right. The rest of the guys falling asleep. Um, I love Adam's jumper though. Adam, Adam's give, give us a look at that jumper, mate. That is an, all, that is an awesome, Christmas jumper. Let's see if we can show anybody at home Adam's jumper. That, that is, is a spectacular. well hung. That is a awesome Christmas jumper. 
Really, really spectacular. Um, it's the season for giving gifts. Oh, really? Uh, we are going to... Oh, actually, um, comments. Comments. Get your comments coming in. I forgot to ask you before. That's probably why you... If you have, they haven't. If they have, they know no. But no. please do. <laughs> Even if it's just to say Merry, Merry Christmas, um, just let us know. And let us know if you're uh, out there, if you're watching. If you're home. watching, let us know. Be more than just, be more than just a number. <laughs> be a person and just interact with us. Comments, questions. All of that. We're down for it all. We're down for it all. And this bit does involve you because I have a gift for you and you and everyone here and 25 people watching. Um, <laughs> You've got, Chris, you've got presents as well, haven't you? But I'll, I'll just... <clears throat> so... This is, this is never going to go well, is it? Is this for <laughs> just Bagsy, yeah? There's a, the main presents for Bagsy, and then there's subsequent presents in there for everyone here, and also 25 people that are watching. There's cash in there, then. There's cash, yeah. No, no. It's, it's worth more than cash. Worse than cash? Um, <laughs> oh no, what's he doing? I'm worried now, you started to undress. <laughs> it's not that kind of show, Matt. Jesus Christ, he's taking his shirt off. Oh, I'm not even in the shop. Oh, well, we're supposed to be distant. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I can here. already see what it is, and I'm, it's disturbing. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad I haven't got one of those t-shirts. <laughs> wow. What is it? <laughs> it's, your mate. it's my mate, Mr. Finger Flute. That's, uh... <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Matt. That's uh, awesome. Can't wait to wear this somewhere <laughs> when he's painting his living room. Yeah. <laughs> that is your man's. That it. No, I'm good, thanks, mate. He's <laughs> I'm he, just going to hold it and then... I've got you the same size as me. What's so. that? <laughs> Small? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have shrunk. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is Mr. Stefan Poposcu. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to come to that in a minute. Oh, all right. But contractually, you know, we're not allowed to actually show this clip anymore because... So there's now... Uh, told us we're not allowed, but if you... There's a QR code. If, a <laughs> if you were to scan that, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> I don't know if, if I, it will. Uh, if, I, if I hang on one second. No, it doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> but, but the point is, the point is, if you watch all of our live streams for the past six months, you'll be very, very familiar with Mr. Stefan Vaposcu and his work. With finger flutes. With um, being an entrepreneur and a person that pushes boundaries of what's possible, and that is where the parallels are with Mr. Bagsy. Let's, let's hope for your sake that he doesn't have a legal team. <laughs> <laughs> which brings us to... These things. These things, which are... It's Christmas, everyone. Stickers. Gifts. This is a, an official, limited edition commemorative Navara R sticker pack, which includes the uh, Bagsy Bath Bomb sticker, the uh, well-known phrases from the series, Stop Filming Me, that was that's yeah, one, one of yours. Yeah, one of mine, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Plum Bob, which is also one of mine. One of yeah. yours. Uh, measuring, marking, marking, and measuring. So there you go. This is awesome. uh, a cool. sticker pack which we're going to give to everybody here Cheers. in the studio. Merry Christmas. Uh, limited edition, and 25 of them are now free on my new website, Delete Clothing. Delete dot clothing. <laughs> delete clothing. Delete. www dot delete dot clothing. If you go there now, right? Pun. Hey, <laughs> this is his first day. It's his maiden voyage tonight. I'm trying tonight. to give things away here. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll go and give them to the green Thank room. you. Thank you. Go to deleteclothing now after get your, the stream. And get your very own. And 25 of you will get these in time for Christmas. Uh, they'll get posted out to you. Ian's going to hand deliver Definitely them. put some on my toolbox, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. There you go. It's awesome. all about the giving. The giving. And receiving. And receiving. So there we go. Pardon? Someone wants one. Well, delete clothing. Delete clothing. And you can go there and you can just... You'll see that... Can you buy that T-shirt? You can the... buy this T-shirt as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 19 .99. Uh, 
Fantastic. Yeah, it should survive at least three washes. Don't tumble dry it. I discovered that. <laughs> and don't iron it the right way in, because it comes off on the iron. But anyway, 1999, uh, give it a go. And wear Perfect. it to any event bags he's at. He will love you for life. He might even, <laughs> he sign, might even, it. He sign, might even it. sign it. Yeah, he might even sign it. Yeah. I might get him to sign mine tonight. Anyway, this is getting far too self-indulgent. There is uh, well, there's a there's a thing. The truck truck build. Yes. Okay. Next up, yep. we're actually going to start putting the truck back together. Kind of. Kind of. For for a bit and then yeah. apart. Together yeah. and apart, forwards and backwards. That's how we do it. Let's take a look. Trying to Go film here. For a serious documentary. Are you filming? You sure? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that on the engine? Uh, that is that. Yeah, but like, you, one shot it's not there, the next shot it is there. Well, that's because we were doing some covert secret testing. Right, okay. So we didn't kind of show it. But the viewers, it. they don't respond to sudden change very well. <laughs> it shocks the system. It shocks get, the system. They get very upset. And yeah. it just appeared. And it did just appear. Yeah, and like so, it just appeared. But you didn't explain it on the thing, and we didn't know. No, we didn't. It was just, we but just we do have hanging. a specialist in-house yes. who knows just a little bit about this product. Does he? Should we ask him to, do you want to swap places Let's with him? Let's go. Okay, Simon, we're welcoming Simon. From Simon Asnew. from Asnew Injectors, everybody. It's here. <laughs> Simon, first question, have you got your sticker pack? Yes. Yes, <laughs> t-shirt? No. We do them in, they, they're in all sizes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So please, because I was a bit worried when it just appeared and I was like, what the hell, it looks beautiful. Shiny stuff. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It is absolutely fantastic. And I, I just want to say before we get started that uh, Simon and Phil and the team at Asnu have been with me since uh, I went out on my own and they've been one of the, you know, one of the first partners we picked up 10 wow. years ago. And they've been in the family of our, of our team. Until since, tonight. Since literally until, <laughs> until today and, and well into the future. And to have them still involved now all this time later on much bigger projects than our humble beginnings of for little injectors yeah. is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'm sure Phil at home's watching. Thank you so much to all of the hard work he's put into our team. But I am very excited to see this in there. As am I. Yes. What so can, what can where we do you want to start? Well, I, I guess we should talk about the, uh, you, know, you know, what this is capable of doing for us. And, you know, talk about a little bit, I guess, about how much time has gone into building this, because it looks absolutely fantastic. That unit there is about 120 hours of, of machining. machining and assembly time. It's a crazy amount of time. And, and, what, and what sort of things are we expecting it to be able to do? Obviously, we know it's an inlet manifold. We know it's a, you know, a fantastic well, injection system. But what type of uh, things are we hoping it's going to be able to help so us with? So it will support over 2,000 horsepower. <clears throat> um, Our gearbox not, you... might not be able to take that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah OK. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> What's unique about this is it has individual throttles rather than the conventional setup that the Nissans have, um, which means we can get a lot bigger throttles in. Um, standard throttle is uh, for the Nissan factory is 60 mil. This has three at 52 mil, which is a substantial increase. Mm -hmm. And it's still 50% larger than the biggest single throttle plate aftermarket upgrade you can get. So it's, it's a substantial step. Wow. Um, yeah. It looks awesome. It and can, it, oh, go on. And I was just going to say, it comes with all the electronic package as well with it. Yeah. Um, it's also got an additional six injectors. So you've now got 12 on the car, um, which will give you your fueling requirements. It's got additional sensors. It's got bosses for nitrous or water meth injection, whatever you want to use them for. It runs the standard factory throttles, which means it's OEECU compatible. Um, it has lots of interchangeable parts that we can build it in a modular form. Um, if you want different trumpets for different torque requirements, there's different little trumpets that sit on the insides of the intake manifolds. You can have them without them, longer ones, shorter ones. And those um, things will change the sort of the torque figures and the it power delivery and all yeah, those sorts of things. It changes how it is able to deliver its power. 
um, where in the power band it makes torque and things like that. It wasn't built for outright power, actually. It was built for drivability. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I think 2,000 horsepower is enough for most people. It should be okay, yeah. <laughs> I certainly hope so. And uh, I don't think we're going to quite make 2,000 horsepower with this, but it's nice to know that at least it's capable of doing that. So what yeah. we're doing with it, we know is going to be, essentially, it's going to be bulletproof. So, yeah. And that's one thing that's always been really key to us as a team is having reliability, because obviously you haven't got reliability, you can't race. And, uh, you know, the ASNU products have never let us down over the years, so we're very fortunate to have them on side. So yeah. having this piece of kit uh, on top of the engine, I think is going to look absolutely amazing. We're looking forward to you know, getting it on there and getting it tuned. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's been awesome to be able to have Simon and the whole team as new involved with the project. And it's not from afar, a is it, as well? It's not like a, a relationship just over the phone. You actually get together. Well, you mean because they're in Watford and we're in South End? Well, no, because you actually, <laughs> I was going to say, you actually get quite hands on. Oh, you went to visit? I did. Oh, we've got some oh, we've footage. Got some footage haven't we? Yeah, I went down to Asnew recently, actually, um, to, yeah, uh, to see Maybe we it. could talk through what it is we're looking at. So, so that's Tony. Okay. <laughs> and Rog. Uh, and I believe he's testing some of the injectors that I took down that day to... Yeah, so this is one of our test and diagnostics machines. Um, you brought some injectors back yep. that we, we wanted to look at and see how they fared over the, the months that you'd had them. So we're testing years. them. Years, well, yeah, years. Years um, and years and years. And that's them being cleaned and you can see all the uh, uh, olefins coming out, which is the contamination. This is a shot that you've taken inside the throttle body. With the help of your phone. Oh yes, that's <laughs> right, yeah. And that um, is the inlet manifold wow. itself here today on the table, so. And there is actually one in the Navara as well. Yeah, that we've used obviously just to test fit. So, yeah, yeah, it's a mock-up. But yeah, it's very exciting. More than anything, it looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see, uh, see what it's capable of doing. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Simon. That's no it's been awesome yeah, to have thanks, you. So. Okay. So now when you see this, or the mock-up of this, in the footage that's about to be on screen, you'll know why, you know all about it. And let's watch as we continue attempting to, for the first time, or the second time, or the third time, put it back together again. Let's have a look. Looks like a GTR again, Jinnah. Hold on, hold on! Not too much though, don't go get carried away. A bit more. That do you there, whoa, 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 whoa! Like a dream, she flying designer jeans, but more likely lie by the ocean. I live. Clunking and cranking and crunching going on. Yeah, there. is that painful to listen to? Just, I'm in the office, I don't know why the fine. fuck you showed him that because now he knows we did some bad stuff. No, we didn't break anything. Um, we just had to hustle to we'll get it on there. It, so you're just fighting back? Yeah, yeah. Did you make it too big? Bits in the wrong place. You're always concerned about size, Matt, and size is not always the answer to your question. Really? Yeah. Sometimes it's, mo it's motion in the ocean. It's the motion. It's the it's the hips. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, but. So she wasn't playing ball, and so what we're about to watch is, and we can, I think we can just talk through it, is things that you're doing now to get her to come together. Come nicely. together. Yeah, yeah, so we removed the loom, uh, the factory GTR uh, engine loom. We removed that, and then there was two little bits of sheet metal work on the, the back of the cab that we had to remove, and then this brace that we, well, I modified to clear the gearbox, but it was just too high and too far forward, and it still interfered. So yeah, there you go, get that removed out. That's, that's, that's been fitted and removed a few times. Yeah, I had to remake it because the gearbox was in the way, so I re-engineered it, made it clear the gearbox, but then it hit on the cab, so we ended up having to move it a little bit further back. Wow. 
And look go. at that. Just like factory. That's crazy, the width. The st I mean, I suppose the body is going to... Oh, hello, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Bagsy just turned into Shane. I ate Bagsy. <laughs> <laughs> Did he taste good? He tasted real nice. <laughs> Damn! We're going to hijack this section and talk about my dream machine. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'd just like to say um, this is a very funny show. Well, you're very good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> People of us. What would you like to know about my dream machine well, that you don't already know? Well, I know, but I, I think more people should know what is happening with these cars going out the building every week. Listen, this what we do crazy. is we're, we're an awesome little setup. Not, we're probably actually the, the second best TV show on Facebook. Clearly after this one, this is, this is clearly the best one. So, you know, we, we, we took our motivation, we kind of saw what you guys were doing here, and we went, that's really good. And I said, Bagsy, who runs your show? And they, he kind of pointed at you. So that's why, that's why we have the second best show, right? Clip this and, for the show reel. And pretty much what we do is uh, you go online, My Dream Machine, you buy some tickets, and you win some cars and some prizes at really good odds. Not like Andy Peters, when you're up against millions of people. Yeah to win a ticket, you can just win one for a little short amount of people, yeah. and odds are in your favor. And that's it, real simple. I mean, it's crazy. And, and actually, we're gonna take a quick look at a guy, because it's, in some ways, people might think, it's too good to be true, but it's just genuinely happening. And I Most can... people say it's too good to be yeah. true. And usually it is, in that case, but in this case, my dream machine is not too good to be true. So you need to go check it out. You need to see this. This is just one person that entered one competition and let's see what happened to them. A 25307, yes we do. Louis Patrick. Louis Patrick. Louis Patrick, you the just governor. won yourself a Golf GTI. Louis Patrick, you just won a Golf GTI. How do you feel right now? Honestly, have no words. It just, it just wasn't real until I had the keys in my hand. Have you ever won anything before? I haven't, no, never before. Free door, manual, and it's black. I mean, it's nice to see that guy happy. Real happy. But you start to see these cars go. Hell no, because not in, you can't win. <laughs> you got to play the game, right? I mean, we're live every Tuesday night. Yeah. Every Tuesday night at seven, and people are driving away cars, or people are winning prizes, so it's real good. It's real good. I'm just a little bit gutted, because I've entered every competition have so you? far, and I have won fuck all. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no. I entered last night. I entered, la yeah, I entered last night for the thousand pound cash, two tickets, and I was, I was a little bit heartbroken. Well, Shane. friend in hand, basically what happens is we do send out emails to say friends and family shouldn't enter. So uh, what the fuck y'all doing? <laughs> I'm doing it under a different name though. Is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a loophole. Is it? <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's not just about the prizes. It's also actually about the banter. That's a bit of banter. We have some guests on there. We have mm. a thing called the Shane Anigans Bar. And Shane Anigans started off actually as an alcohol-free bar because we were kind of dealing with cars and bars. And then real quick, that just didn't work out. <laughs> like really quick. It just crept in. It just crept in and now it's full blown rage and bar. <laughs> you know, so as soon as COVID is over, this place is gonna be stacked with people, <laughs> absolutely stacked. You say that, you'd never know it from this clip. This is from actually last night. Okay. You had uh, Richard. Richard in the house and this is him attempting to give away 300 pounds of your cash oh, to, to a random person. <laughs> Look at this, this is crazy. So, Gemma Carson, if Bridge gets this in, 300 quid for you. That's some new style you're coming with, on the hand. Oh, 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 we've got one more attempt. Joyce Williams. Joyce, if this goes in, you get 300 quid for Bridge. Joyce, this is for you, baby. 300 bucks. Oh, that's oh, lucky. We got oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically what we do there is uh, we just pick people out who do, uh, I think that you, you like and share or some business like that. Nathan, my co-host, usually looks after that, but he's in the bin today. Yeah. So, uh, so basically he picks some out at random and whoever's in the guest in the Shenanigans bar takes the shot 
and I think so we're three weeks running that nobody's got it in. The B ball has not gone in the net. So on a rollover, we've got another, so next week coming up is 400 bucks coming up. So no, 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 I reckon I can nail that first shot. Yeah, well, you have to like and share, though. You have to like no, and share I, to I get the money. I reckon I can get it in. I'll tell you I reckon I'll come down and nail that one shot. Yeah, one you shot. You want to be a guest on our show? I'll come down and be I'll a guest on that show. That's right. good, actually. And, but you know what? In rehearsals, everyone gets it in. Everyone gets the shot. Everyone's a they pro. Do. Everyone's Michael Jordan in rehearsals, and then no one could get it in live or there. No, I think it's one of those things of pressure, isn't it? <laughs> uh, as soon as it's live, as soon as the people are rolling, you like take the shot, and everything's just wonky donkey. But to be fair, it suits us because the rollover makes it more exciting. Mm -hmm. you know, 400 bucks coming up next week is good. That is good. That is good. And you have to go to mydreammachine.co.uk to get involved. You can watch the live streams by following their Facebook and sharing, and then you'll be in with a chance of that 400. But there's prizes galore, and the biggest one is, I mean, it's a bit scary. I think most people are scared of it, actually, because yes. they ain't buying tickets. Well, what's wrong with y'all people? <laughs> <laughs> so this Rolls Royce, right, that we have up for, up for grabs, um, this is probably like a five year in the making, 100 grand build. You can get it for 99, 9 pound right? And people are like, oh, I'm not sure about that. What the fuck you mean you're not sure? It's the, it's the most insane thing you can actually, you can actually drive around in the streets. One of um, a kind. One of a kind. It's a one-off build. It's, it's, it's quite an amazing machine. So if it goes, happy days. If it doesn't, I don't know. If you're not in, you can't win. I keep telling people. And you can vouch. Have you had your hands under the... Yeah, yeah. we've had it here at SP Motors. Yeah. We did a little bit of work on it. We've uh, been in and around it. Very, very cool car. Yes. Insta-famous. Snoop Dogg shared it on his yes, Instagram. Yes, yes. It was one of his Black Fridays. So it was. That's listen, right. That car is mega famous, and it is a real car. Listen, a little secret as well. Have you entered that one? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. What do you Even mean? more of a secret than that. Bagsy actually drove me to my wedding in that car when it was what? a standard Rolls Royce. How about that? that? I think I know that. So Bagsy drove me to my wedding in that car. If you go on my Facebook, you can check out the photo. Yes, I think it went, to, it went to a Debs as well. When a lap is just Debs for his little boy. Prom. prom. Yeah, prom, did a prom, prom as well. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. That's, wow. that's, that's, that's got some history, that's that car. It's got some history. It's been around. And you will have seen what we're talking about, but check out this clip just to get the full effect and watch out for the web address at the end of the clip how you can have a chance for $9.99. Take a look. Regrets. Now that's beautiful machine. No right regrets. There. With this, know. you can never have any regrets or stuff like that. You know, I think it's like any of these machines. You know, we build them because we're mad passionate about building awesome machines. And in the end, they've got to go somewhere, right? Exactly. Can't keep them all. Yeah, this is true. This is true. So it's, it's kind of releasing it into the wild. Yeah, absolutely, into the wild, into somebody else's driveway, and somebody else to enjoy the absolute amazing bus that it is. Absolutely amazing. And. Thank you for continuing to watch. Uh, any questions for Shane? Shane, I, I believe Bagsy's going to sort out the invoice side of things, but we have booked you to turn the Christmas lights on. Yes, I hear this. Yes, yes, yes. that's yes. why I'm so, actually here. I didn't so, know I was going to be involved in anything else. The Christmas lights yes. turn on was my speciality. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really good at this. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, and we've we have spared no expense. Uh -huh. This is a major, major deal. And it, in fairness, it's actually much nicer than a Dream Machine Tree. Yes. So. <laughs> Uh, Maybe I think steal I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna have to beat this one oh, okay. next Tuesday yeah. for sure. Okay, okay, cool. Keep watching for that. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Am I turning them on now? No. Oh. No, we've got music. We're building up. Okay. This is what you need to keep moment. watching for that big moment uh, towards the end of the show. But uh, questions, comments coming in. Guys in the green room, how's it shaping up out there? Yeah, it's doing very well with uh, a lot of interest in the stickers. Really? I reckon your website's going to crash. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Is, what, do they remember the URL? Delete. I've, I've posted it quite a few times. Delete.closing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. And they're free on the website, which people might free. not realise. Free. Oh. Yeah. Free. Everyone loves well, free. 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 Yeah. This stuff's good. Yeah. 25 of them. 100% free. And um, we have a couple of questions coming. Okay. On them. Uh, so, would you drag race against other builds in the Navara? 
Aussie. Would uh, Navarra drag, drag race. race. Would, would, would you drag race? Would you drag race? Yeah, he's saying. Yeah. Hell yeah! Back yeah. yeah. to yeah. saying hell yeah! Yeah. yeah. We just yeah. need a driver. And just what a... what what is your take on this? You're you're a build guy as well. I mean you. You've got projects on I, projects on projects. I keep asking them to give me a price because I, I want first <laughs> refusal. <laughs> of course they do. I want this on my driveway. Absolutely. What an amazing machine. What an amazing build. I think when you can create uh, a monster like this, I'm a pickup truck guy anyway. Yeah. But you can, if you can kind of uh, give it its, its road handle and everything else that this mega machine is going to be, then I, I'm in. Like, I'm forced refusal, Bagsy. Hey, first. Yeah. <laughs> Polite smile. It just needs matte, the matte black. Yeah, well, listen, all black, everything. As long as it's black, it's okay. all good in my driver. That's it. Okay. We've got a request. Any uh, chance of a shout out for Jack the Supercar Kid? He's a massive fan of Steve's and has just ordered his sticker pack. Oh, wow. Has a he, rival sticker a pack. A rival sticker pack. Wow. Well, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> <laughs> Would he accept a shout out from Shane or does it have to be, does it have to be back to you? Doesn't really say. Doesn't really say. Jack the Supercar Kid. Yeah. Shout out to you. Yeah. And I love the rivalry. Keep it on common because Bagsy needs it. He needs to keep on pushing the build, to push the build. Cool, cool. <laughs> There's some more funny ones. Some, someone called Rob Preston's just commented, Shane, take some of Bagsy's Christmas decorations and bring them back to Dream Machine. Uh, yeah, that's one way to do it. That is one way to do that it. That is one way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, um, there's not much decorations on it. It's a sponsored tree, clearly, is what we see here. All sponsor everything. Good yeah. idea, actually. Very valuable. Yes, I like it. OK, right, we'll come back to you because we have to move on to my new game show. Um, we are both, we're all big fans of Bagsy. Yes. Uh, we're all big fans of, you know, we're all, we're all Big, big, lovable big, yeah. fans, yeah. fans of yes. Bagsy. Yes, indeed. Uh, good Love friends of Bagsy, Bagsy as well. For many, many years. Yep. Many, many years. It's on and off for myself. Well, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. We, you know, he's like my second wife. <laughs> and this, this is not, this God on truth, he's like my second wife. Like he gives me more shit on the end of the phone. Like, Fuck you, man. Oh, you're so horrible, man. You know, he falls out with me all the time. Like, oh, bro, I really love you. And no, don't be like that, man. So I don't know how this is going to go. Wow. So it's kind of like this, ooh, okay. rocky okay. relationship for 10 years. We've been on and off. Okay. And Ian, obviously, you're here for the... Far too long, I've known Bagsy. Yeah. Yeah, far yeah. too long. Okay. Well, okay, let's just battle this out to find out who knows Bagsy better in my new game show, <laughs> Connect Four Ball Bagsy Edition. So it's very okay. simple. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, uh, you can choose a colour, red or yellow. No, go on, you go first. You're, the, the, you're the A-listed guest. I'll choose yellow. Yellow. OK, you have to get the question right and then you get to throw a ball. What? What do you mean, throw it? Like, what? You have to get it on, so, on here, on here and, and then, then down in. there. And you, you're able you to get connect four. four. Can I get him back? OK. OK. It's a very, very simple concept. Um, we could be here a while. If, if, Challenging. If, if, if we struggle, we'll move the, <laughs> <laughs> we'll move the goalposts. <laughs> Uh, a bit closer. OK, question number one. Much like yourself, Bagsy drives a number of dream machines. But can you name one of them? Pff, what, as in like dailies or is this anything? The, the dream ones. What's that thing behind there? What's that, What's that called, Ian? The GTR. The uh, GTR. The GTR. Yay, 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 yay. The Thanks, Ian, for the help. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know you've got to do a shot if you win. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> No, you don't have to bounce it. I tell them bounce it. No, you just throw it. Right, no, you just got to bounce it. They don't bounce. They don't bounce. They don't bounce. You, you just, they don't bounce. You, so they don't bounce. No. You just got to throw it in ball. No, no, no. I'll, no, okay, I'll, I'll in, take that okay. one. They don't bounce. They don't bounce. They don't bounce. Right. right. They don't bounce. They don't bounce. bounce. Okay. Uh, Ian, yeah. how many tickets has Bagsy purchased for various competitions on My Dream Machine? Fucking none, because he's cheap guy. Yeah. I know. He's purchased over ten. Yeah. Over ten tickets. I don't, I don't believe that. Okay, back to Shane again. <laughs> Shane. Yes. Bagsy has a pet dog. Oh. True or false? Oh, I, like, I was, was going to say, if you haven't <laughs> going to ask the name, I haven't a clue. He definitely has a dog, though. Take a shot. This is true. <laughs> they don't bounce. They don't bounce. <laughs> yes, they do. They do. <laughs> that bounce off the top. They do. Uh, Ian. Yes. Uh, if Bagsy had a horse, where would it live? <laughs> <laughs> In one of his containers. No. <laughs> it's already been risk. <laughs> it's already been risk assessed. He's got the permits. Uh, the answer is with Corbin. Hey! <laughs> Don't know uh, how Corbin feels about that. Shane. Yes. Uh, Tapao, Abba, and Kajagugu are all on Bugsy's playlist. 
But what foodstuff was the subject of his Christmas number one with Lad Baby last year? We never had a doubt it was sausage rolls. It was sausage rolls! Right, right. Take a shot. I feel like I'm getting stitched up here. Oh, man. Damn things bounce, man. <laughs> All right, maybe we, maybe we bring it closer. Actually, um, yes. I believe you have a, do you have a little song? Oh, what? A little song out of the moment. I do. A little song, I think, do we have a little quick Take a look. Song to Stay now, you've got to go away. I don't think I can take the pain. Stay now, won't you stay another day? Stay now. Are you fixing it now? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was, a, <laughs> that. that was a very, very short blast of Stay Now from Boys on Block. And if you want to hear any more of it, you, you need to won't buy hear it on radio stations, so that's the only chance you've got, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say iTunes or. Yes, you can. Yeah, <laughs> iTunes, Spotify, what do we prefer? Um, um, radio 2, any, 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 any okay. of your regional okay. radios cool. across the country right now. Big, big out there. Cool, cool. Uh, you missed a trick not getting Bagsy in the video. Because I asked him and he said no, he was too busy with that baby. Uh. <laughs> Mates. Hey? Mates. Conflict of interest. You know, this is one of the reasons we fall out. You know what I'm saying? Ian, uh, yes. little known fact, Baxi is actually grade six on the clarinet. <laughs> but what is his favourite flavour of soup? <laughs> oh, I know that. <laughs> Oxtail. It is. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's too close now, it's too close. I don't feel so bad. This could take all uh, fucking night. So, well, when, when I run out of questions, that's the end. So. Well, what was the outcome? You just take a beer? Is that what the outcome uh, is? The outcome is if you get a line of four, or you're the ultimate Wait. champion. And you just take a beer? You get the Navarra. To be fair, Shane knew <laughs> all the answers to all the questions, so I feel he's the outright winner, right? So I can just take a beer, right? You can yeah, just you take can Thank you very beer. much. Am I done here? You're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, okay. I'm going to take yeah. a beer. That's See fine. you later. Thanks, Jane. Bye. <laughs> These celebrities, right? Fucking hell. I you know. just can't, can't hold them down, Matt. Can't no, hold I'm them down. It. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. <laughs> it's time to fill now. Okay, cool. You're right there, Matt. You, oh, then we were going to do a game, which you can do. Okay. And it's in the style of... I haven't left the building yet. He's, he's still can in. do it from sitting there. You, okay. It's, uh, it's in the style of um, My Dream Machine, where we do uh, guess what happened. Oh, okay. Okay. This is, a, this is a very cool concept that happens on My Dream Machine every week on mydreammachine.co.uk and on their Facebook page. You watch the beginning of a clip and then you guess what happened next. Now, I apologise for the audio on this clip. It's rather terrible. Uh, it's our fault. Uh, Here's, what, here's, here's part one. Racing a, a dog sledge against the new Hilux Jack. So Shane's talking about racing a dog sledge against the new Hilux. Ian, what do you think happened next? I haven't got a fucking clue. Okay, I mean, you, if you, you can, if you feel... I, I mean, I know in my head what I want to say, but no. I don't think it's safe. Okay, well, let's just, let's just take a look. Hilux jacked up, whatever the case may be. We don't really have that kind of scenario, but, you know, we are going to have fun. Mr. James Parry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, next up, back at the Navarra build, things get incredibly exciting as some presents arrive. Expensive box, Stephen. Let's have a look at the most important one first. Clearly that's hilarious to for me. some people. Yeah. It wasn't very uh, hilarious for me at all. So what <laughs> is, did we do? What is it? What's going on? That is the standard OE carbon fibre prop shaft that comes on a GTR. And cool. their value in the resale second-hand market is about 500 quid probably. Okay. Uh, and the, and, the, and the end of the, the drive, uh, the end of the prop shaft that Ian needed, that piece there, we could have purchased for about 100 pounds. Right. But Ian decided it was a much better idea to just tell the prop shaft company, building this prop shaft, to cut the end of the 500 pound prop shaft yeah. to salvage the 100 pound piece to weld onto the new prop shaft that's going on the Navara. Right. So I was up 500, but yeah. I have to spend 100. 
but would make for obviously sell the sell the property for five hundred and then be left with four hundred. Maths is now strong I'm just, point, now I'm just down loads of money, aren't I? Because yeah. he's cut the five hundred pound prop shaft up, and I've still got to spend all the rest of the money getting the new prop shaft made. So it's completely and utterly screwed me. Thanks but, very much, Ian. I mean, I just needed a prop shaft. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't worried where it come from. Yeah. Just give me the prop shaft. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Okay. Well, now we know what that was about. Uh, let's continue opening the presents. Oh, fancy. Nice. Don't know what bit this is for though, to be honest with you. I think that's that one. Gosh, she's a big old girl now, isn't she? She's girthy. Here she is. You got a free cable tie, mate. Does that make it better? Oh, okay. There it is. So that's it. Hey! Been waiting weeks for this. At least we can get power from the engine to the gearbox now. Oh no, we've got bolt here. Oh no. The head of the bolt's too big, look. I guess it works of magic in the lathe on the bolts. Yeah, they are too long, but that's all I've got. Hold it in place for the moment, just so I can see how good it fits. Oh, mate! Look, it's not I've done this before. See? Slider. Cheers, babe. Great success. This, this should just bolt straight on, in theory. Oh, these bolts are wrong as well. I'm guessing this is the right way around. Oh, no. It's too big. We've got, we got a bit of a size issue going on. Well, the prop's massive and the hole's little. Well, that's an issue, isn't it? This is, this is not my mistake. No. That is 110% <laughs> your mistake, mate. I, Ian, I put yeah. it to you, sir, that this is a Argos catalogue of errors. It's a complete fuck up. <laughs> Thanks, mate. No, yeah, it is my mistake. Um, it was an oversight. I, look, I, we ordered the props. They all come the right lengths, apart from sacrificing Bagsy's lovely carbon fibre 500 pound prop. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he's got the rest of it. You can look at it, put it in his office. I'm going to cut a little bit off for him for Christmas so he can wear it as a bangle. That would be nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a bit of a fuck so up. So not only has he cut up my £500 prop yeah. for a £100 piece that I could have purchased, yeah. sold prop for £500, yeah. used £100 from £500 for the new piece of the prop shaft. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, this is like maths with bags in. I've now spent, I've now spent £400, £400 on that prop that is now the... Plus the invoice he sent you for the day. So yeah. I've got to pay in, pay for the new prop. Yeah. No, get no money for the old prop, yep. and the new prop's the wrong size, so I've had to send it back and get it remade. So in essence, I'm down a lot of money, <laughs> because he's had an Argos moment, apparently. <laughs> Listen, we all have bad days, right? Yeah. Bad days? You're just having an off day. I'm bad day? I've been having a bad year, you. <laughs> hey, come on. We're all friends. It's, it's not all tragedy and doom and gloom, though. No. Ian, you, despite your best efforts, you haven't fully ruined Christmas. Not yet. Because... <laughs> There's still time. Well, yeah, there is, but the saviour is here. Yeah. Because now is it's a big moment. It's a big moment, guys. Are we are we all ready? James is going to cure his face. No. We're going to move out the way. Oh. Oh. Fuck off, Ben. Fuck off. <laughs> Wrong clip, James. Is Wrong clip. I think he was going to do something else. Matt, play that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> Fuck off, Ben. Fuck off, Ben. Fuck off, Ben. Fuck off, Ben. Today, I'm going to make the frame up that holds the radium in the back of the truck. Looks good for where I'm standing. This one is actually fully built and designed. Even the plastic tank inside the alley box is all radium because it's got their own SFI, FIA certification on it. You know, petrol goes in here. Yeah, no, I don't give a shit about <laughs> Fumes come out of here. Brum brum juice out of this one. Brum brum juice back from the engine that's not used. And then we've got a lift pump. Pump one, pump two, and pump three.
That's the difference between me and you, Ben. You don't even know what that song is, do you? It's the foundation of most music now that you listen to on the radio. You listen to that stupid fucking shuffling EDM shit. Shuffling shit. You do listen to that shuffling shit. I don't. You do. Only someone that don't listen to that shuffling or pretends they don't listen to that shuffling music would say, I don't listen to that shuffling music. I could care less about Hufflepuff. A wild I no. Ah, got, a feet. got him! Got him! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to come back to that because there is a whole paradigm opened up here. You've had an Argos catalogue of fuck ups. <laughs> well, well, there's a whole thing going you've on. You've had an Ian moment. We're all a bit giddy. Come on, I mean, it's just. Christmas, this is... you've had six beers. I have not had the any beers. The fuel tank looked great. It did, didn't it? Yeah, the, that looked awesome. The fuel tam- tank looked awesome. And we're going to come back to that, but we do need to start Christmas officially. Yeah. Is it that time? We ought it's to. that time. Yeah. We ought to I've start. I've paid a lot of money for this moment. I know. So like, Let's enjoy it. I know. We know he's okay, maths so as well. Are we, is everybody ready? <laughs> for the Christmas. For the Christmas. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Shane Lynch Woo! back into <laughs> SP Motorsport. We will now, I don't know how this usually goes. Is there usually a speech or? Yeah, there is. Oh, uh, we've got a countdown music, a um, little bit of, um, okay. Are we ready? Yes, let's do it. Eight. Which button? <laughs> Which one? Just Just press the two <laughs> black ones. <laughs> Which button? <laughs> Which button? <laughs> Christmas has officially started yes. here at SB Motorsport. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shane. Is that it? <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> Fucking tree, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know so what's happening here. <laughs> that's it. My dream machine! We got a tree! <laughs> Oh, he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> he's literally. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone oh with the tree. God. That tree is going straight back to my dream machine, isn't it? Yeah. That's the end of our tree. He's left a, you've got a present, present for your mate what? Nathan. <laughs> you've forgotten Nathan's Christmas card. Look. Wow. <laughs> that was quite oh, spectacular. I mean, um, that was that was something else. Mr. Shane Lynch. Well, everybody. That was fantastic. Shane Lynch. Thanks, Shane, for um, coming. Yay. Yeah. That was. Absolutely amazing. Um, Brilliant. Okay, back to the matter in hand. Uh, there was a debate that opened up about shuffle. Shuffling. shuffling. Yeah, shuffling. Okay, so explain. I, I can't shuffle. Ben shuffles. Ben shuffles. Ben shaking his head. Ben definitely shuffles. But you know what shuffling is. Mm, shuffle cards. Right. Truffle shuffle. Truffle shuffle. I can it's do a dance. It's a dance move. Yeah. It's a dance. Is it this? That is it. That that's is it. it. That's it. Nailed ben, it. Ben, is that it? Nailed it. That's it. Ben says ben that's it. Ben's seal of approval. It. Yeah, that's it. Shuffle. That's it. Oh. Cool. Okay, back to business, because obviously... <laughs> this is a show about a Navarro build. Show about a Navarro build. <laughs> um, let's continue fitting that radium. Fuel cell. Fuel Smoke. cell. Smoke. Smoke. <laughs> you trying to work out what I'm making, Ben? No. Oh, mate, look at that balance. I've got that absolutely perfect, look. No way. Oh, lovely. Like a glove. glove. Like a, I'm pleased like with that. Glove. Like, oh, yeah, Got yeah. that right. Got that fucking spot on. That was top notch. Yeah, very good, very good. Perfectly yeah. housed. Yeah. Do, it's going to do its job beautifully. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice and low, far enough in so that, you know, if we take an impact, although the radiums are designed to Shielded. take an impact as well. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, happy with that. What's really nice about the radium fuel cell is it's got a lift pump and three feed pumps inside the tank. It's all really nicely housed. All the electrics is already done. Mm-hmm. All we need to do is just, you know, put power to it run the fuel to the front and back, and then, yeah, she's all ready to rock. Amazing, amazing. And obviously, we're going to keep building, come back in January to see more, and we're going to actually 
Stay tuned because we are going to go around the back and show you some more exclusive stuff that hasn't been seen yet. But we're not going to do that yet because we all know what time of year it is, don't we? It's a big time of year. It's the 9th of December, which means it's officially nine days since the climax of No Nut November. Yeah. So big what? times. Big so times. What? No Nut November. What the hell is No Nut November? It's... No, it's no nuts. No nuts. No nuts. No nuts. November. No, no nut November. No, no nuts. nut November. What the hell is no nut November? Well, it's a subject that throughout November was on Ian's lips. Why yeah. wasn't this? It came rehearsal? out of his mouth all the time. <laughs> well, I believed it was a, a team effort. I knew nothing. Honestly, about it. this yeah. it, this was a hot topic in the workshop. Yep. Do you know what's next, Ben? No nut November. Do you know that? Did I know that? Yeah. I do now. No Nut November. No, it's No Nut November. No Nut November. No. Well, I need to get some nuts. Oh, it's No Nut November. You can't have them. Yeah, true. What is No Nut November? You can't eat nuts. Too much protein. So, how did we get on? Because I think we all... It, we all it went uh, fucking terribly for me. I, could, I didn't, couldn't last. Well, couldn't yeah. last. I, I... Day three, I succumbed to a Snickers. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you bust any nuts open in November, Bagsy? I'd, I'd like to think so. <laughs> but, like, I mean, the look on your girlfriend's face says no, but I mean, we won't go there right now on a live show. <laughs> Possibly not then. <laughs> Self love. Well, yeah, no, not November did happen. This may be a difficult watch for some. Um, we started with grand hopes that we could make it the full month, the full November, all the 30 days. Yep. With no nut. That's why we started. We're all going to pull together and we're going to make it happen. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't this happen. Is this, oh, seriously, this is, how, this is what happened. Oh, another day in Bagsy's Funhouse. It's 8.30 a.m. on day one of No Nut November. That's incredible, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five of them in a line. You never see five together, do you? And already the team are finding themselves a little distracted. Wait, this can work. We were keen to find out how the team would fare with a whole month with no nuts. What are you got in between your legs? And after half an hour on day one, Ian's feeling a little more accident prone. You took ah, oh, hit my head. Ah. Crack your back. Ow. Ah. While Ben's feeling quite positively twitchy. Really pushing my buttons today. Mid morning on day one of No Nut November, and relationships are already being tested. Corbin also needs something to occupy his hands. That's so fing annoyingly loud. Fuck off! Stop fucking doing it, you annoying. Corbin! What was you doing? <laughs> what was you doing? Five hours of nut deprivation seems to be really affecting Ian. <laughs> Little did we know these effects were just getting started. As the workshop descends into chaos. I'm set fire to that hat. How annoyed am I? Oh, Samara! Can't you get back in? Ah. Ah. And what was once a happy workshop began to resemble a scene from Apocalypse Now. Complete with No Nut November related PTSD. Stop it, Ben! You can bury this fucking hammer handle up your arsehole. Are you ready to <laughs> get it inserted? Fire? <laughs> take it. Let Daddy take it. After a total Let of Daddy six hours, we were forced to abandon No Nut November on health and safety grounds. I'm glad I didn't watch this clip the half beforehand because <laughs> I definitely wouldn't have said no to showing it tonight. Ian, what have you got to say about it? <sighs> yeah, it was just a stressful time for everyone in the workshop, I think. It was yeah. the only way to vent, you know? You just yeah. had to get it out of your system. Yeah, yeah, and that you did. Yeah. 
If you're still with us, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> uh, over in the green room, uh, everyone's looking fairly like that, nonplussed. Um, uh, comments coming in uh, thick and fast. Uh, <laughs> hey, Naomi. <laughs> Sorry, didn't realise you were waiting for me. Lionel Forehead from Preston. Oh, right. What, <laughs> what are you planning to build after the Navara R? Who, thanks, for, thanks who, who Lionel there? Forehead. Lionel Forehead. Lionel Forehead. Thanks, Lionel. Lionel Forehead. Uh, we do have another project here lying in the uh, wings, ready to go. Um, it's going to be exciting. It might even feature, I guess, in our live shows next year. Uh, it's going to be really, really cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. That's all we get to know. Other than it's... Uh, a, a mixture. world's first. Oh, it's got another world's a first. World's first. Yeah. It's Volkswagen. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That'll do. That's enough. Stop right there. With a little bit of Audi. A Beetle. Yeah. Possibly. Be You're recreating Herbie. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly. With an R8 engine. That's it. Maybe. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. It's exciting. Uh, we've, we're gonna. We're gonna. Very shortly, we're gonna go around there and show you what you've been waiting to see. But uh, we've got one, two more. Yeah, we've got a, a couple actually. We've got oh, one cool. from Clive Shadcock from Daventry. Daventry. Uh, yeah, Clive Shadcock. Oh, hi, Clive. Um, a question for Ian. What's your new job? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Good question, Clive. I'm, I'll let you into a little secret. In about two weeks' time, you'll all find out. Two oh, weeks. OK. Can we have a date? No, not yet. Two weeks. What's two weeks from now? Uh, it's Christmas. Is it? Kind of. Kind what of. day is it? It's almost Christmas. Are you... Is it Santa? 23rd. Is it Santa? The 23rd. I've put on a little bit of timber. I am Santa. <laughs> wow. Wednesday... Yeah, Wednesday the 23rd. But that's fucking very specific. Yeah, well, you I said want, two I weeks. Want, you said two weeks. So Wednesday fucking the 23rd. You know, what is it with you and Matt slightly? That was Wednesday a verbal contract Wednesday the 23rd, well. yeah. Ian is going to tell us what his new job is. 23rd. Probably before then. Bit, Wednesday. Oh, make your mind up. That's two weeks. Oh, I'd like to keep people in suspense, don't I? New what? employers would want to know. Oh, wow. Well, anyway. I'm going to give too much away. Uh, one, we've got time for one more. Uh, we've got uh, Tom Marrow from Cockermouth. Tom oh, Tom Marrow? Tom Marrow from, okay, from hey, Cockermouth. Cockermouth. Uh, That's where M Sport are. <laughs> yeah. What? Um, hi, Matt. It's oh, for hey, you. Mate. Love hi, the Tom. t shirt. Uh, Thank please, you. Please, can I have one? Uh, you, Do you send it to Cockermouth? Uh, I, I, potentially, yeah. We go up north uh, once. A week on a Tuesday, so I could maybe do on the Wednesday. I could do on the Wednesday after on the, the way Tuesday. Back, yeah. On the way, no, it's on further up. Oh, it's further up. Yeah, yeah. Tom, we could make it happen, but you have to go to delete dot clothing. Get your free stickers if there's any left. Twenty-five of them, and uh, yeah, there'll be one of these as well that you can buy and um, wash it twice. And then, <laughs> uh, right, there has been a truck build going on. Apparently. Apparently. And I just thought, bring it all back in. Let's just get Ian to summarise. Don't worry, you'd have to do it now. You did it before. It's okay, okay, we're going to play the fine. clip. <laughs> of Ian summarising just some of the progress we've been watching today. What have we done this week to the Navara R? Well, we finished off the rear subframe mounts. Got those in, fabricated, done. Finished off the rear turret mount tops. Put this little lip on, nice little bit of weld, just shape the front so that it's got a little bit more strength. Open the hole out as well to clear all the bolts. So that's the rear turrets finished. And then we finally got our prop shafts. Hey! Well, one of them anyway. One fits, one not so much. <laughs> Tell your prop shaft, no need to get upset about it. Hey, here we are, round the back. <laughs> it's where the fun happens. This is where the fun happens, and this is where it's all been cracking off. And look at what we have here. Yeah, the final piece of the fabrication puzzle, I guess. You covered up all the hard work you've done. Covered up all the hard work done. Yeah, but we had to, so obviously the, the turrets we made to house the GTR coilovers and all the arms were quite a way in in compared to where the factory tubs were on uh, Noara. So yeah. me and Corbin fabricated these new sheet steel ones to cover it all up, keep the grime out, so when Bagsy's traveling with his suitcase in the back, it doesn't get dirty. Yeah, and do we still have the stock 
Arches. No, I threw it in the scrap oh, earlier. Took it away, but they're like tiny. Yeah, here. a quarter of the height. Yeah, yeah they're tiny the com compared to these new ones. So, and as as we actually discuss, I discussed with Corbin the other day, and we were having a chat um, over a cup of tea, and uh, we were saying um, it's become a lot more fun and a little bit less practical because, as you can see, there's a less space here for storing things. Sand. Sand. Yeah, unfortunately, it hasn't got as much load space as it did before, but at the same time, you know, we needed to do this. It's for the performance of the truck, and it also, they look great. So they look awesome. looking forward to getting them finished uh, and then working out what we're going to do with the rest of the bed. And then, uh, yeah, get it painted and get body kit on and, yeah, look forward to getting it done now. A little exclusive, there's actually a GTR steering wheel. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, Ben wasn't in uh, work for two days of fuel and me and Corbin in those two days we completely modified the factory Nissan Navara steering column. Mm -hmm. um, we managed to mount on that all of the steel brackets that house the flappy paddles. Yep. We also modified the length of it and managed to link it all up to the GTR steering rack. So now we do have the column in the truck with the GTR steering wheel, flappy paddles, plastics and all the uh, indicator arms and wiper stalks. So that all is wow. together in the truck working as well. So the full experience. The full experience. The so when you drive the truck, yeah, you'll have a stock GTR steering wheel in there and now and it all works with the paddles in the factory place. Wow. Oh, Very and, cool. And the... That's not been installed yet. Ah. So the handbrake. Yeah. Yeah, not yet. Okay. That'll we'll be one of the that. mods we do when we do the roll cage inside the truck. Okay, okay. Unless you've got anything else here, I've got a question about the front. No, yeah. we go to the front. <laughs> to the front. <coughs> like these wheels, the tires, they're miles out here, but is the body gonna be kind of? Yeah, so it kind of is like more of an extended arch, replicates um, the similar body lines to the factory Navara, but it's 80 mil wider. Right. So it'll, it'll be three inches out compared to a normal truck. So 160 mil over the full width. Amazing. Very wide indeed. Absolutely We're looking forward to receiving the new body kit from Sterling Automotive. How's that going, by the way? In January. You'd, yeah, we're on the final designs now of CAD, in the CAD drawings. Um, okay. Test fit will happen probably the first week of January when, uh, when they send us the kit. So we're looking forward to it and then hopefully be able to show everybody maybe in January or maybe February's episode exactly the truck with the body kit on it. Wow. So that's good. going to be exciting. Though. Yeah, it looks really cool. That is going to be exciting. We moment. think it looks great and it will be available to purchase uh, for your Navara if you've got one at home. If you have one at home. Yeah. Which I do. Uh, and one last thing. Don't drop it. <coughs> In here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've got to turn it around, they'll see the sticker. Okay, <laughs> don't show them the sticker. Turn it <coughs> that way. In what? That way. What? <laughs> <laughs> Cover the sticker bags, otherwise everyone at home will know what it is. They'll Google the part number. There you go. There you go. But we have In one. Here. We have one wheel. Yeah. Needs three more? Just need three. Well, we need more than need one. More than three. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. It's all going to pot now. Sorry. Drink Sorry. Responsible. So, fuel. Um, we've been trying different wheels in the truck yep. mainly for sizes uh, to see what would fit what would look best and have uh, you decided on that can you tell us the size yet or no i think we're going to go down i think we're going to we've settled on 20 inch rims for the navara we were wondering about going to 22s but in reality i think the 20 is going to look much better so we're going to go with the 20 it's more practical it's more usable for the truck as well i think we we'll go for 20 uh, and that is the rim inside that box that we've selected. So we're looking forward to getting the rest of them now, get them, get them painted and get them on the truck. Unveiling this in January? I think, we'll, I think we'll do the same with the body kit. We'll show the wheels oh, the body okay. kit together. So January or February. Cool, cool. But I can tell you, it does look awesome. Yeah. Are you happy with it? I think so. Yeah. I think it looks really good. Fuel of, uh, you know, so, you know, stepped up and going to be supplying us all the wheels for the truck and we're really looking forward to getting them. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome looking rim and we're looking forward to, uh, See when it all comes to, when it all comes together, what it looks like. Amazing. Any final questions from the green room? Hi. Sorry, waiting for me again. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Tim Boner from. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? Where do you find them? 
<laughs> Tim Boner Shane from knows Goodwood. Tim Boner. Oh, that was the guy from your show the other night, wasn't it? Tim He's Boner. Following us. This, <laughs> this guy's Mr. Back. Boner is following us around. <laughs> Mr. Boner. <laughs> Bagsy, Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas when, to you, Tim Boner. <laughs> when will the body kit be available and will it fit on my Renault Twazzy? Uh, I think production for people's, you know, production for Nissan Navara body kits will be in full flow probably from March. Um, I don't think it's going to fit on his Toyota. Renault. Renault. Twizy. What did he say? Renault Twizy. Twizy. Oh, Twizy. Twizy. I think no, it's a Twizy. Don't, don't That's not even that. a yeah, real probably, yeah. won't, probably won't fit on his uh, whatever that is. <laughs> but it'll definitely fit on a uh, 06 Navara and above. Yeah. Awesome. Or 16 Navara, sorry. 16 Navara and above. The one uh, uh, from Graham Gobbling uh, from Kettering. Okay. <laughs> Who? Hey, Graham. Uh, Graham Gobbling. Gra Graham Gobbling. Mr. Gobbling. Mr. Gobbling. To you. Uh, Merry Christmas to Corbin and Bagsy. Will there be a Driftenberg Part 3 and will there be any celebrity cameos? Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Uh, I can confirm that there will be a Driftenberg Part 3 in Ooh. 2021. Uh, and we're very much looking forward to filming it. Uh, With this, who knows? Who I can't knows? say any more than okay. that. But there will be some cameos. Uh, we had my good friend Shane yes. in the uh, starring role in the uh, serial eater in, extraordinary. In, uh, yeah, part two. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to trying to get the whole team back together and maybe a few new faces. Ah, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Well, this has been amazing. I would like to wish everybody Merry Christmas. I don't know if you want to wish anybody anything in particular. Not really, no. no. <laughs> That's very Stop Corbin of you. <laughs> Plum bomb. Yeah. Plum bomb. Yeah. Uh, guys, thanks so much for being here. Shane, thank you so much. <laughs> thanks to Simon from Us New and, Simon. Adam and Naomi. Naomi. Merry Christmas to all. Adam, shake it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank See you, you later. and goodbye. Bye. Woo! I'm the best. It took you four days to make them. Tell me, so I'm if the they best. Didn't fit, I'd be pretty good. Tell me, I'm the best. Do you know what is boring? Waiting for you to do something. Shut up, mate. It's like a pencil with no lead now. You're living the dream. No, let me rephrase that, Corbin. We're, We're living the dream. Yeah.